These games are pretty bad, but I don't think that people should avoid playing them. Playing a bad game every once in a while is actually one of the best things that you can do. Because secretly, bad games are magic. The best game for demonstrating this is Bubsy 3D. But how can it be bad? Look at all the critical acclaim on the package. Sleeper Hit of 96. Establishing a new standard in the platform genre. Even EGM said that it was stunning, original, and that you should check it out. Now then, I advise all the citizens to remain in their homes until further notice. This meeting is... I knew I should have taken that left turn at Uranus! Was it something I said? What could possibly go wrong? Not all of these reviews are crooked. PS Extreme and their Gold X Award definitely are, but you could turn just about any block of text into a positive review for Bubsy 3D if you played with it like these people did. The truth about Bubsy 3D is that nothing in this game is right. Nothing. The controls, the camera, the design, the visuals, the music, the sound, it's all broken. This game is broken. This is a 3D platformer, meaning that there are segments where you will have to be precise. You can't be. Bubsy 3D won't let you be precise. The controls are too broken. You can't do it without inching along very slowly. It doesn't work. The camera will be all over the place every time you do anything at all. Pause the game, unpause the game, jump, land, get hit. Anything and everything you do will make the camera zoom all over the place for no reason. I haven't been able to play this game one time without getting a headache. Every time you pick up a rocket in this game, the screen will flash an alternating sequence of colors very quickly for far longer than it should. Most of the stages in Bubsy 3D have a repeating pattern across the floor and sometimes the walls. When the camera goes zooming around for no reason, the patterns go zooming around as well, and that doesn't help. It's like everything that could possibly go wrong in a game happened in Bubsy. The only thing that you can possibly praise this game for is being a bad game. And, since bad games are magic and Bubsy is one of the worst, I guess that makes it pretty much the Dumbledore of bad games. I'm now going to demonstrate how bad games are magic on Superman 64 using Bubsy 3D. And there it is, the magic. You didn't see it? Let's look again. Here we have your average copy of Superman by itself. A bad game, but not as bad as Bubsy. At this point, Superman 64 is exactly how it naturally is. Bad and unappealing. But as soon as you add Bubsy, it suddenly becomes a lot more attractive. This is how bad games are magic. Bubsy is a very bad game. Bad enough that it can even make another notoriously bad game, Superman 64, seem better. Play Bubsy just one time, and flying through rings in Superman won't seem so bad. Bad games are good because they put things into perspective. When you play a truly bad game like Bubsy, you're going to appreciate the great games that you've played a lot more. And maybe, you'll be more willing to re-examine games that you thought were mediocre or poor, and find that they were actually better than that. I've seen people respond to the question, what's the worst game you've ever played, with responses like Sonic Adventure, Prototype, Final Fantasy VIII. Those people have no idea what a bad game is, and until they actually play one, they're going to choose to miss out on a lot of really good games. I've played more Bubsy 3D than I ever should have, and all those years ago, I pre-ordered Superman 64. These games help me realize that with very few exceptions, there is, in every video game, something good.